Alright, I'm Alexis Stanchen and I'm proving the snake comma. So the short version is that we're making a connecting map um, in the sequence that turns this sequence into a long exact sequence. So this is kind of confusing with all the diagram chase because we're going to prove it through a diagram chase. Um, so we're going to start, we're going to have x right here and this is going to be in the kernel. And we know this because the sequence, all of this is exact, and it's going to zero. So that's why we know it's in the kernel. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down to here because it's exact and it's in the kernel. So we can drop it down to here. So it's going to go to zero here. So we'll put that this is in the kernel and exact. So we know it's going down there. And then we're going to bring it back here. And we can bring it back here, and we're going to call this x prime. And we know that we can bring it back to this step because this is the image. So we know that we can bring it back because it's going to be in the image. Now we're going to drop this down to here, and we're going to call this x prime prime. And we can do this because this is a function, and this is made up of um, a chain complex. So we know that we can work our way down. So we're going to do this because it's a function. And then we're going to bring this here. We're going to bring our x prime this way by commutativity. So we know that we can do that. All right. And then now we're going to drop this this way. And this is going to go to 0 because this, is, this was a function. But we know that our image is going to a kernel, so this would be like basically another kernel. And so then the kernel is going to go to zero because, like, by the definition of the kernel, like you're going to go to zero. So we know this is true because of being a kernel, being in the kernel. And then we're going to bring this back, and we're going to call this x prime prime prime. And we know that we can do this because this is also going to be um, an image. And so we can bring it back like that because this will be the image and the kernel again. And then we're going to bring this down. And we know that we can bring this down because, again, it's a function. So we know that we can do that. And then the last step that we're going to do is we're going to bring this over. We'll call this x prime 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 prime. And then we're going to bring this this way. And we know we can do this by commute, commutativity. So basically, we're taking our function of where we're going from x all the way to x prime, 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 prime. So that's how we can prove the kernel portion of this and show that we have this sneaking down this way all the way down to there. And then we have to prove the image portion. And I feel like this one's kind of more confusing. So we have, so we're going to have our image B here. We're going to call this Y. And then we're going to have our pre-image up here, Y prime. <coughs> This will be pre-image. This will be image. And so we know that we can bring the pre-image down into the image. So we know that portion. And then we're going to bring our y, we're going to call this y tilde prime, and we're going to bring it this way. And we know we can do this because we have an exact sequence. So we can do that by definition. And now, we're going to bring this down to what we call y prime prime. And we know we can do this because it's a function, again, and it's um, made up of chain complexes, so we know we can go down the line. Um, and then we're going to bring this y back to y prime prime by commutativity. Okay. And so now we're going to bring our y prime prime down to our y prime 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 because there this is going to be this is going to be like an this is going to be the image sorry 
Um, that'll be an image, and so, but it's going to equal zero, so we're going to bring it down to um, here, which is also going to equal zero, and it's going to be in the kernel. I'll explain that kind of in a second after we get through that part. Um, so I'll bring this y prime back this way to what we call y tilde, tilde, tilde. All right, and we're bringing that back to the pre-image, but we're going to bring it down in a second. I'll explain like this portion after I bring it down here. Um, so we're bringing it down to y prime, 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 and so we're bringing it down to this, which is going to be. So we're going to have this here. All right. So we're bringing it. Um, we're bringing it this down because this is going to be in the kernel, and so bring this one down to y prime because it's going to go this way down uh, since it's a function, or y prime, y prime, y prime. Um, and then we bring this one, we're going to bring the y prime, prime, prime back to here since uh, we have commutativity. And then I'm going to explain. Uh, okay, and so then we know that we can go back with this because of the creativity that we have down here also, but the reason that we can go back here mainly is because you can pick anything that's going to be in the image and you're gonna delete that, and so you're gonna have like a non-empty intersection, but you also know that this is zero, so we know we can bring it back deleting whatever we have because it is going to be in our kernel. So you bring it back by like deleting anything you take in the image, so that's why we bring that one back. And then we can explain this one through commutativity and also saying that um, it's like the image going back to the pre-image and so then we have our function dropping down with it. So, and then that explains how we have our function going from y prime, no, my bad, y to y prime, 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 prime. But uh, we kind of bring it from like here, both portions of like y and y prime. So either one, we do that, and then that shows how we bring it through snaking through the diagram from c all the way down uh, to i. Um, and so this just shows that we can have like this map where we create like this sequence up here and connect it all the way down through here and make this a long exact um, sequence and so ultimately like the reason we can do this is because this is all an exact sequence and this helps us since it is an exact chain complex we can like show this by proving it using that it is exact um, and this can apply to what we've done in class um, we can apply it to relative homology which is a different section deals with infinite spaces okay. yeah and um, you can also make this into like simplicial homology, which we did not do, but you can. Um, but for the snake lemma, you have to just prove like the kernel portion and the image. So you just have like the image portion of it. It's almost like you've like two parts that you have to prove um, with the image and the kernel. And we know that we can do this because um, we have a subjective function, and um, if you look in your homework, it's in homework one where we proved that we had the subjective function, so you can do it that way. And then you just have to go through the diagram chase, and this proves the snake lemma. Okay. Questions? So you say it's subjective, so we have it on to, but you're using the pre images a lot, so do we also need that it's one to one and that we need all these to be by um, yes. Good, yes. good question. So, so on the kernel side, the real, the real question is that that's a, a legitimate map. Yeah. On, on the other side, what it's he's doing, it, it, there, we're really asking that that first one is asking that that's a, a legitimate map from the kernel of the, the upper corner to the bottom corner. So what we're, what we're trying to do is, is is we're actually building maps between homology. So if you're building maps from homology, we're mapping the kernel to the kernel. Now, the image to the image may not be a legitimate map. There's some flexibility in how you choose that. You can pick some map. 
So what she's done every time where she said, all right, I'm going to pull back to the pre-image, is she's making a choice there. But the, but the point is, since that's all going to be in the quotient, that's all in the denominator of the quotient, so that choice comes out in the wash. Yeah. Because you're ultimately just going to delete part of it. You're deleting the, yeah. the entire image. The question is whether or not you've, you've deleted something that you shouldn't. Right. And what, you, what you've shown is you've shown there's a, there is a way to, do to take the image to the image. Does that make sense? Yeah. Other questions?